Oh, and welcome back to another Exploring StarCraft 2 lore. This will be going through the StarCraft 2 comics, in particular, the, these, this sacred land. If you like this content, do like, subscribe, if not for me, for the Zergling. Nom 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 Okay, let's, let's, let's get to this. Um, right, so in the previous two episodes, we learned that Egon Stedman has been hanging out on Balshir and trying to defend it from the Taldarim. A Terran um, extraction team has come to investigate and pick him up. However, they're basically caught in the crossfire between Stedman's forces and the Taldarim. This is a very obvious uh, cover because this is the helmet of the ghost that came along with the extraction team, kind of the protagonist. We can see some purple fuse which we kind of assume is Terrazine gas. Um, a gas that, you know, is very valuable to all races and it's specifically known to enhance psionic potential. Alright, so let's go on with this. So these sacred lands, script, art, editors, Kevin Dog. Oh, very interesting. Kevin Dog was the lead designer for StarCraft 2 and this is actually important because Kevin Dong, um, if I'm not mistaken, he actually designed Stedman. Uh, Stedman and Megs, I'm pretty sure. Uh, we have Tim Morton, the head of uh, the former head of productions. They are now over at First Giant Studios. Yep, Tim Morton, Campbell, Kevin Dog. There he is. Follow him on Twitter. Go, go, go and follow this um, this entire website. All right, but enough of that. Okay, here we go. Statement. I have been positioned. Excellent, these protoss shall die. Look, they see us coming. Oh no, this is actually Stedman. <laughs> Let me do the voice. Look, they see us coming. They see my swarm. They are panicking. Can you hear them, minion? I can. Oh no, these amazing mechazerg must have been here the whole time. Ugh, I'm in charge and I'm stupid. It's all my fault, but I'll never admit it. Uh, that's actually what's happening right here. Also, I've never heard of Sniper, so I stand in the window, the only weak point in the whole building. Take the shot, minion. Copy that. This is actually quite interesting because um, it implies that this ghost actually climbed on something in order to take a shot at the window. By the way, in terms of what is the Mecha Swarm, let me just show you real quick. So, the Mecha Swarm is Statman's forces in a co-op. If you want, you can jump in and play them for free. Up to level 5. Mecha Zergling, Mecha Bailing, Mecha Hydra, Mecha this, Mecha that. Basically, he created his own army from scratch. So these are the units, uh, the Mecha Ultralisk. Uh, and uh, as, as always, I'm going to go page by page and then do a bit of a breakdown. This is very interesting because we've never seen a Protoss radar before. These are supplicants. This is 4th Ascendant Malik from the last um, issue. And... I love this flow because this is clearly Stedman, you know, the writing, but it seems that he's predicting the Taldarim's movement exactly like this. I, like the eye pulse like, is like bouncing out. It's, it is so good. It's like this guy knows he's in trouble from his boss. Oh, it stinks. Now I die. Blah, 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 blah. He talks a lot for a dead guy. Nobody asked you. Protoss don't have mouths. Can't goggle. If Belshia said he goggled, then he goggled. But no matter, prepare the detonator, minion. On my signal, set off by magnificent shiny built from scrap. What? Okay, so it's really interesting. So it looks like the ghost also took the tal took the took the terrazine. Um Stedman basically gave him some in the last um issue. We'll watch the previous video, link down in the description or read it online at Stark After Media. Link will be in the description as well. Uh, we see Stedman riding on a lot, like this is so cool, it's like with the Calfrey and the Brute Lords and the Vipers and the uh, Roach. No, that's a Corruptor. Oh, that's actually a huge army. Okay, so apparently the Sniper actually managed to fire through a Protoss window and kill the Fourth Ascendant. Um, this is actually quite interesting because it seems like the Fourth Ascendant, like most Protoss when they die, if you see the animation, they're supposed to teleport back. Um, that's clearly not what happened here. I said wait f I said wait for my signal. My bad, master. I can't believe this. 
How am I supposed to vice ascendant, baptized in the blood of Valshia's enemies, without proper dramatic timing? Super Gabby, show these lesser minions how it's done. Attack, Jeepers. He's so well made and powerful, so much, much more impressive than us. I guess we all decide, deserve to die, huh? For being so lame. I love the writing. Okay, so we see an Ultralisk and basically a pretty damn big Zerg army taking on this Protoss encampment. Like, this is a really cool scene. Like, the like the Taldorim are firing the... These are not a mobs. These are, I think, Wraith Walkers firing. You see the Supplicants, um, the Zealots charging forward. And they're, they're, they're going to get wiped out. If an Ultralisk gets this close, you're screwed. And then, of course, we have Super Gary. Just using the um, orbs. By the way, you can also play Super Gary in uh, StarCraft 2. Uh -huh, uh -huh. There, there's Gary. Here we go. Control statements, armies, you have upgrades. Super Gary. Oh, interesting. Gary's actually not here. Oh well, too bad. Oh yes, Super Gary sets the standard for us all. Stand by, must. I need to medicate, meditate on my failings for a moment. Captain Inside, we have engaged the enemy. How the repairs coming? We're close, give us an hour. Copy that. Trap the med station. You heard, or is it the uh, side effects? No. Humor me, Captain. I'll get back to you soon. Whoa. One hour and thirteen minutes later, their leaders are dead, their vessels lie in ruin, and all their terrors in his mind, as was foretold by our mission, Valshir. Lesser minions, join me. Let us walk among our dead enemies and laugh how easy this was. Minion, where are you? Did Super Gary step on you, didn't he? Gary, get over here now! Oh man, this is, like, the art of this is so Good with this like atomic explosion, you have Super Gary in the background. Um, it's actually kind of funny because Super Gary, um, in the actual game, as you upgrade Gary from Gary to Super Gary, he actually you know goes from a smiley face to a frowny face. Again, as we saw here. Yep, that's the same one. That's that, but that's the man standing in front of a mushroom explosion. Still quite a few forces left over. The Talzai have all been slaughtered. I don't think I've seen a lot of comics with like this such a good like scene. But where did our sniper friend go? Uh, by the way, this is also very interesting because if he's doing repairs, it's implied that he's maybe an SCV or, or a mechanic of some sort. Um, I would like to think he's an SCV because even without the tools, he could definitely do the... Even without the bulky suit, as long as he's got his tools, he could do the repairs. This is a medevac. All systems green, or at least not completely red. She'll fly, Captain. Warm up, Exide. Stabbin may be coming to us next. Rest easy, Captain. I've got this covered. Huh? What are you doing? Finishing the mission. We have orders. What are you doing? Twenty minutes later. I don't care if you levitate, Gary. I know you stepped on him. Either you killed him, or he's hiding his mind from me, and he would never do that. I could... Feel it, he served Belshia faithfully, he is devoted to her cause. So devoted like me, Kaboom. <laughs> I have to take him back. But you have a choice. Stay or go, Gary. Oh, this is also a dude, like, like, the thing about this comic, it's filled with these, like, great scenes, like this one over here. The battle above. Um... Oh man, I love this. Like this one, he's standing against Super Gary, and Super Gary has a blaster that could just atomize this ghost. Let's see what happens. Vectors look good. Perfect for the jump back home. Can't believe we made it, Captain. You and me both. Sturman served her well. Now Belsha has a congregation to protect her. But he would never have agreed to leave, even if she had commanded him so. He'll be fine in time. He has the chance to carry out her will on countless walls, create countless congregations for her. It's for the best. That's what she told me anyway. We'll just 
Have to see, won't we, Gary? Oh, this is interesting. This is very interesting. Because... Oh, good grief. Alright, so... so Dude, I, I love this comic. Um, if you're watching this um, on YouTube, I will be doing a final uh, review of the entire thing now that I've read it from start to finish. I love this story. It is so good in so many ways. The art style is phenomenal. Um, every page is just gives you detail from like preparing the kill shot to taking the kill shot. And like... The kill shot happens and then you have this beautiful scene of Stedman and the Mecha Swarm. Why isn't this a banner in and of itself? Um, like, I like that. Like, this is so efficient. These are basically the same pictures, but, you know, the coloration, you know, the explosion. And it works so well. Uh, you got these awesome battle scenes. This is very cute looking back, uh, Mecha Ultralisk. You have Gary blasting this way through. You have Stedman victorious. And then you have the twist at the very end where the the ghost, who I don't think we even got his name, somehow gets actually gets the the drop on Stedman, which actually it's actually very interesting because I believe Super Gary at this point should have detection. Even if the ghost was cloaked. St oh, that's interesting. I postulate that the Gary saw him because Gary has detection or Super Gary has detection. Stedman didn't, but Super Gary didn't say anything because it's like, oh, he's coming back. And this is also interesting because it's implied, like, again, the original mission was to just extract Stedman and leave um, in this man of act. <laughs> oh, do you see this? The Zuglings, the Zuglings, like, you think the arm of the Protoss? Um, this is clearly a Taldarim arm. Uh, and it seems that he now has a plan to let Stedman and Super Gary basically create their own Mecha Swarm. This is effectively its own faction now. This is not this is not the Terran Dominion. This is not the Zerg Swarm. This is something entirely. And a ghost, a super genius, and you know, Super Gary? Um, that is not a force to be trifled with, like, at all. Um, but that ends this comic. It ends it on such a great cliffhanger. I love this series. It is so good. Um, I'll probably try it. Okay, so in my final review, I'm also going to talk to people in the lore Discord server um, for the video. And we'll see if we can get a bit of information. Uh, yes, so before I end this video... I'm going to do the experiment. We're going to try and recreate this battle in the Star in StarCraft 2 and see what it looked like. It's going to be quite tough because there's still been a lot of forces evade. Okay, so if we look back at the comic, I'm going to try and set it up. If we look back at the comic, we see... Okay, there are two Ultralisk. There's... Two, three brute lords. There are a lot of vipers. I don't know why. Maybe blinding cloud. Okay, so let's focus on the zerg first. So there were three ultralisk. Uh, so let's let's add them in. Okay, we have the three ultralisk. We have a ling, a bane, a vouch, and a hydra. Okay. A Ling, a Bane, a Roach, and a Hydra. Okay, we have two Lurkers, another Hydra, and another Ling. Okay, let's 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 add that um, in. We have another Hydra, another Ling, three Brute Lords, a bunch of Vipers, as we you know mentioned earlier. Okay, did I forget anyone? All right, the two lurkers, and let's just add two corruptors. Okay, let's let's do that. Oh dear, hold on. Ah, okay. So two corruptors. Where are the corruptors? There they are. Add two lurkers. 
right so this is the forces arrayed on the zerg side quite a large army again i'm not gonna go into upgrades because that's a wee bit complicated okay let's look at the Taldarim forces on the other hand um oh no i i, I know from experience that's good so you have three well immortals we have three immortals one pylon two cannons okay let's start from there Oh right, uh, I need a probe here. We had two cannons. Uh, two immortals, I believe. Let's double check. Two immortals. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven zealots. Well, by the way, something I just realized. It's entirely possible that by blowing this up, he took out the air support. Because it's also possible the portal just didn't have any air support. Um, there were no void rays. There were no. There were phoenixes earlier, although phoenixes would kind of be useless in this fight. Um, the forces we see down here are consistent with the ones we saw earlier, so I'm not going to change them. And also, this is this experiment is kind of complicated enough. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven zealots. I know this is not a fair comparison, but I we got to try. So seven zealots. Okay, so seven zealots, um, and if you, I think the last one just stalkers. One, two, three, three stalkers. Okay, we look through the comic. There's nothing that indicates there were. There's nothing to indicate that there were more forces. There probably were. We only get a snapshot of the battle, but we'll, we'll make do. How many stalkers? One, two, three. Yeah, the protests are so screwed. Alright, let's do this. Let's run the experiment. Um, this is what it currently looks like. I don't I don't have the Taldarine colors enabled right now, but let's just do this. Okay, Bobo. The ultras engage. Oh, the Protoss are actually doing not too bad. Oh, that wasn't as one-sided as I thought it was. I mean the okay. Let, let, let's just do no micro. Okay, lurkers aren't doing anything. The ultras are. Oh, okay. What's the immortals' fault? Yeah, the protoss were absolutely screwed. Okay, let's micro the zerg side. Light the cloud. Light the cloud. Light the cloud. Yep, those guys are completely screwed. Okay, let's micro the protoss side. Oh no, there's really nothing I can micro here, there's just no space. Like maybe you could kill two Archlists, but there's nothing to contest the, the air stuff, you know? Especially on this map, there's like nothing to retreat to. If I try to move the Boot Lords and the Boot Lords are just gonna gun me down. Can I get one more Ultra? Nope. Well, uh, very GG. Okay, and uh, with that, we are done. Um, I hope you like this video. If you do, do like and subscribe. If not, for me, but exactly. Nom 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 n